Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to Planet Zoo. I have done a little bit of work here with the red pandas. I actually changed their little hard uh, shelter. I made it a bit smaller. It's now just a rock over the ground and a little air conditioner there. Only because I, I didn't really like them climbing up on top and <laughs> like climbing through it. It was kind of weird. So that's their new little hard shelter, which I believe satisfies their need. Let's have a look. There's one little guy over here. Oh, look at that. Welfare is so good. They're so happy. Hard shelter, 100%. They've got enough climbing space. Dude, these guys are happy as. Now, have some babies. Longevity is not good. Actually, how, how, mm. oh, no, you'll be okay. Hopefully, we'll have some babies along the way. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. In the meantime, wow, it's getting dark here. I guess it's about to rain. Uh, I was going to start doing some building through here, but it's like real dark. The other thing we want to do is actually, and some of you guys pointed this out, is, you know, bins and, and benches and all that. Oh, and the other thing was, I think uh, you guys were saying that guests, even though they technically can't sort of see these buildings, they probably still won't like it. The facility buildings are ruining my experience at the zoo. Bro, have you ever been to a real zoo? You see all that kind of stuff. They use, it's not a freaking theme park. Like, you can barely see it. It's just like a little staff doorway and the windows are even covered with plants. I mean, I guess you can see in there, but it's a staff room. Who cares? I guess they don't like any of this either, do they? It's pretty run down around here. What? Excuse me? Wait, maybe this is not... Does this fence need some fixing? I don't know. It's, it's really hard to tell. Hang on. I need to unpause and go. If we need to get to daytime, I can't see. Uh, barrier status. Oh, yeah, maybe maybe that's not great. Let's get a mechanic over there. Uh, I might look into hiring some more people soon. Oh, that's also bad. Because, uh, yeah, we're getting some rough areas. That one's okay. Okay, I cannot see a single thing right now. I hope you guys can. You probably can't, because they can't either. Great. So it's like 9 p.m. I guess it should... Wait, what time is this zoo open till? <laughs> when are we open? When are we close? We close at 11 p.m.? What kind of zoo is this? Since when have we closed at 11... Hang on, we got to change this. We're closing at like 5 p.m. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Fu okay, can I... <laughs> why, why, why can you make it so specific on closing time? Can I just get it to five? Is that... I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, guys. How? <laughs> there's going to be... Hang on. There's going to be an easier way to do this. Surely I can set it in here. Uh, okay. It's still a slider. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait. That's so weird. This one snaps to 10 minutes. But if you do it here, you can get, set it to any time you want. I can set it to 5.39. Oh, no. Wait. This one hasn't even updated now. These are not in sync. I'm confused. So if I set it to... We go 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. If I close that, is that one now updated? I have to unpause. Oh, it is, but that number hasn't. Interesting. Okay, it's a little, it's a little all over the place. All right. Well, anyway, let, let's not do that. That's stupid. Let's go to 5 p.m. And also, why are we opening at 5 a.m.? What kind of zoo is this? It's like open at eight or like nine, probably nine to five is pretty good zoo opening hours. Let's go 8 a.m. We'll open nice and early. Uh, we'll leave the ticket price for now because I'm not really sure where we're going to sit. But at least we should hopefully be able to see now. I mean, it's still raining, so it's obviously not ideal. Um, in the meantime, while everyone's getting upset about stuff... Oh, we need to build something here. What do we put here? Okay, and it's gotten dark again. Oh, because 8 a.m. I guess I just skipped the night. Man, it is sad. Oh, they're loving the climate change. Yeah, this is climate change, guys. This is what happens. <laughs> Uh, we definitely need some. I wonder if we can fit, can we, do you reckon we could fit something here? I mean, I guess, you know, we could do exhibit animals, but I kind of want a statue, you know? Actually, I think we also got some research stuff. Let's have a look at that. Hey, ah, oh, saltwater so crocodile stuff. Great. Um, hang on. So vet research, we should probably do some, let's do some red panda stuff now. And then we'll sort of go back because we got some more crocodile stuff. Oh, actually, I guess we should probably go through and do all the thing where we upgrade the food quality. Where, where is that? Quality grade three. There you go. You have a better food. And I guess we don't really know anything about these guys yet. Uh, no, we don't. Okay, that's fine. I mean, everyone's pretty happy, which is nice. Uh, we can see a little bit more now. Let's have a look at animal trading. Because if we can get some flamingos, that was the suggestion for the front of the zoo here. Uh, let's have a look. Greater flamingo or the other one. What is it? Do they have both types of... Well, not both. There's more than two. But do they have the other... I thought they had another type as well. Um, hmm... Hmm, Fleming, I don't know, whatever. Because, yeah, there's like the white, they definitely have another type, don't they? Hang on. Because uh, there's like the white flamingos and then the non-white flamingos. But I don't know what they're called. I've probably already gone past it. But it's kind of hard to see when you <laughs> look through a list of animals. It'd be nice if there was like a search. Uh, 
Okay, well, I guess Greater Flamingo it is. Um, can I get these guys? Sure. There's two of them, a male and a female. They may or may not have uh, babies. I don't know. We'll find out. Cool. Hey, guys. Welcome to the zoo. All right. So, well, they're not here yet. But anyway, they're going to be here, I guess. Should they be this section? I kind of want this. Can we make this, like, straight? Oh, pathways, man. Let's see what we can do with this. That's not the right path. So the pathways in this game, and same with Planet Coaster, they've always been questionable <laughs> and really difficult to work with. I don't know why, there's gotta be a better way to do this, but obviously I don't think that's happening now. It's a bit late for that. See if I can just have, I just wanted to go straight, maybe we get, no, but then we lose the rounded bit here. Hmm. I don't think there's much I can do about this. Hang on, no, don't stop slacking. No. Nope. <laughs> this is not gonna work, is it? Uh, what about if, what about if I do... Hmm. No, it's, it, I think that's not gonna... Let's just not do that. Okay, so what... Um, okay, if we go to my... Where's my... <laughs> I've just given up on that completely. Where are these flamingos? Here they are. And I want to click on you. Can I learn... How do I... Animal training. If I go in here... Can I... Can I... No, I don't want to move it. I don't know. I just don't know what it needs. Okay, let's go to the zoo Uh I was hoping there was a shortcut because you guys were pointing out there's some, like some of the animals that when you click on them, if they're in the zoo, they have a shortcut to find out more about them. Uh, that one does not. So is there... A... Let me see now if I can see the picture. I'm just looking for pictures now. I'm a visual person. Or do we only have greater flamingos? I thought we had the other one too. Well, maybe not. Anyway, uh, right. So, ah, oh, least concern. Sweet. Okay, so what do you need? You need uh, some water, and you need a 300 square meters, and 8 to 40 degrees Celsius, grade 1 fence, greater than 1 meter. So, not super high, which is good. Uh, let's do, should we do a hedge? Is this grade 1? This is grade 1. So this is a 2 meter... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, no, no, no. No, that's a crocodile. We can't, <laughs> we can't change that. Uh, I think I might even... Maybe if I leave that water separate. So I'm going to say here, we're going to go along this way. Uh, straight or curved? Let's also see if we can curve this. Hang on. Okay, it's not... Can I... How do I curve it? I guess I have to build one section first before I can curve it. Hang on. And then turn off snapping. There we go. Now, no, then I need to go straight because we've got to turn this corner. But then I need to curve it. Oh, hang on. And now we try to build a barrier. There we go. And then we go make the length longer, but make it curve. Yeah, here we go. 16. Oh. It doesn't quite follow the curve of the path, but that is good enough for me. Uh, okay, so that's going to come around here. And then I'm wondering if we should bother going all the way up to the pathway or if we leave that spot. No, we might leave that empty to do some shops here because I feel like we need some stuff around here. Um, can I, I want this to join without, can I do it, can I get it to join without snapping height? I think you can, can't you? Habitat perimeter, I thought you could do that. Height labels, height snap, if I do that, no. So I know you can have them separate heights, but I'm not sure how I do that now that I've already sort of started building it. Now it says it needs to be greater than a meter, so I might just, what if I set it to like a meter ten? Because you can see over, I mean kids maybe not, but you know, who cares about those guys. Uh, now, can I get this to go? Oh, yeah, you can. I thought you could do that. I don't know how high this is, though. That's, oh, hang on. I mean, that's probably safe, right? <laughs> that's probably fine. Get a wooden habitat gate. Kind of wish I had, like, a, you know, a smaller gate <laughs> for when you have, a, you know, a small entrance, but... I guess not. <laughs> I, I guess they don't. Maybe I just make this higher around that. There you go. Great. Or does that look worse? Does that look more stupid or less? I can't tell. Anyway, let's leave this open. I mean, I I think it's safe. I mean, look, if flamingos get out, what's the worst that's going to happen? They're a flamingo, you know, who cares? All right, uh, let's go ahead and move them into here, and then we'll figure out what they actually need. So they are... are we, did I actually move them? Oh, yeah. I wasn't sure if I actually did that or not. Oh, also, let's pause and let's go to the work zones because we always got to make sure we set those up. Soft work zones. So we have the crocs. We're going to add that work zone. That's actually going to add in this one too. So these buildings will service all three of these guys, which I think should be okay, but we probably need some more staff members on that. 
because we only have, uh, if we have a look, we only have the one keeper. So I might actually get a second keeper that is also on the croc work zone, just so they can sort of hopefully, maybe it'll be okay. I don't know. Work zone, crocs, good luck. And I'm going to pay you less. There we go. Great. Uh, so let's unpause that. Let's go to habitat. Let's, uh, while we wait for those flamingos to show up, Actually, let's see if we can uh, do the stuff we actually need first. Species, greater flamingo, is that what it was called? Greater flamingo. Uh, well, they don't need water, that should be fine. We just need some food. Food bowl, large? They probably don't need a large, but we'll give them a large anyway. There you go. Uh, we probably need to remove all this scruff and we'll figure out what they actually want in a second. Yeah, look at this thing. Welfare. Oh my god, it's also injured. Hey, do we even have a vet yet? Do we build one? Did I build one in here? I don't know what I built. Uh, staff room, keeper heart, keeper heart, workshop, transformer, water treatment. No. Do we? Have, did we do a vet over here or did we not? We must have because yeah, we did. Okay. Well, let's um get that guy to the vet because that's not good. So let's go. Can I call a vet? I guess I have to click here. Call vet. Get that. Get that animal. Um, anyway, in the meantime, what do you actually want? They have no hard shelter. They don't have much of this stuff. Coverage. Coverage is actually fine. There's no problems. This is good. I don't like the random stone hill here, but I don't know that I can do much about that because it's right on the barrier. I mean, we can probably flatten a little bit of it, but yeah, because because of the water and the barrier. Okay. Well, what we can do instead? Okay, if I put that back is at least do some terrain paints here because they want some different stuff anyway. They want some less short grass. They could use a little bit more long grass if they want. Maybe this can be long grass up here for them. And they want actually more rock. Do they really? Okay. Apparently they like rock. Maybe I'll leave those rock then. Uh, I don't know why they want rock. Okay, there you go. A little bit of rock and then long grass. Maybe back around the back here as well. We'll do some over there. Oh, I got rid of some of the rock. Sorry guys, uh, there you go. And then a little bit of soil, which apparently they like too. Maybe around the tree there, in the shade and all that. There you go, look at that, great. And then there's some hard shelter, which I might build at the back over there. Okay, in the meantime, some pause. So actually, I'm pretty sure that's all water filtered because we put the water filter back here, right? Yeah, okay, so that should be fine. That, that water's all good in there. So they should be able to get some water from there. This guy's a little hurt, it's a little sad. Oh, there he goes. Diseased animal discovered, vet called. Oh, it was this one. Um, oh yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, <laughs> we, yeah, we haven't actually got any of the diseased animals yet, uh, except for right now. So we got to make sure we take care of those. I think, do we need quarantine for that? We probably, we need quarantine for something. I mean, a vet would help. Maybe we'll get a, a quarantine center. We could do one like over here. And I think what we're going to need to do, well, we're going to need to move this pathway so it's further away from these. Because if we have a look, where's our heat map? I think if we go here and then uh, negative impact on guests. Yeah, so if we basically just build our pathway around that, <laughs> what we're going to have to do. That one's okay because that is actually far enough away because uh, no one can get see that one. This one is, unfortunately, unfortunately doing stuff around it doesn't seem to do anything. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, so what we'll do instead, let's get this pathway out of here. And obviously I'll rebuild a staff connection because we're going to need to do that. Uh, so let's get that further back over here. Okay. So that goes to there. Let's have it. So where's, where, where do we have to go? So we have to go. How, wait, how wide is our path? Is it seven or eight? Seven. Okay. So if we go like this and I come out this way and go like this and go like this. And go like, oh yeah, look at this, here we go. And then I want to try and give it a little bit more of a curve than that, maybe if we go one. Hang on, no, hold control so we don't snap. There we go. Come on, okay, well that's good enough, for sure. Alright, so now that sort of curves around the staff So that's so dumb that you have to do that. Anyway, so we're going to do that and then get out of this view, don't need that anymore, that's fine. Uh, that's all good. And then... Uh, hang on. Can I yeah, go there and then I can curve afterwards. All right, and then I guess this can just be grass area. We could turn it. We could even turn it into a habitat because they won't be able to see the uh, the staff stuff from there anyway. So that's all good. All right, so let's unpause that. The other flamingo has gone to the vet or to the. Oh, I was gonna build a quarantine. That's what I was. That was the whole point of that, right? 
I was gonna say, was everyone like frozen there for a second? That was kind of weird. Uh, let's get a quarantine center. Or oh, did we have one over here? Maybe we did have one. No, I don't think we have built one. I think, let me have a look. No, yeah, it still says you need a quarantine. Okay, maybe we should. <laughs> it's probably about time. We have, actually, you know what? We have $49,000. We're doing pretty good. We have three keepers. Wow, we are geniuses. And now we can finally build quarantine. So let's go facilities. Let's get out a staff facility. Uh, quarantine small. We should probably also start hiring some more people to do some more research and discover more things. We're going to build a quarantine center over here. So it's far away. Uh, or should we do it more? Well, all our habitats are here. We don't want to do it too far away. We could even just, no, because then we can't put it there because it would extend that area. No, over here is probably pretty good. I don't think I'm going to put anything else over here. So let's do that. That's going to go there. We're going to go uh, build around this construction. We're going to get some sweet walls. Should it be a concrete bunker? I kind of feel like I want to do something different with it. Oh, you know what? Maybe what we should do. How do I move it? Move. I'm going to go. Oh, okay, not that far. Hang on. Grid height. Wait, where are we? I'm lost. Hello? Okay. So we're going to go up here. This is going to be slightly off the ground. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to get some sweet columns. And it's going to be like... Oh, none of these snap to the grid. Okay, maybe we can just use... Can I use like regular... Uh... Hmm. What about these? Can I, if I just use this wall, this wood wall piece as like columns? <laughs> uh, no, that's fine. Uh, well, let me... Okay, wait. This building is going to be... I want it to be wooden, but not like that, because that's... You can't change the color. Plaster wall, what else do we have? We've got metal plank, we've got concrete wall concrete yeah we don't have a lot of options uh we do not have a lot of options at all um okay okay and for some reason you cannot paint this any other color uh which is a shame because it's just blank wood it'd be nice if i could paint it um i guess i need to do a plaster wall then which is kind of sad <laughs> i mean i could change the colors i think if i select them all i can change it afterwards right Oh, this quarantine building has... Okay, this is not as going to look as good as I thought it was going to look. I, <laughs> I'll tell you that now. Because I was planning on it being this sweet, like, little uh, raised uh, building that apparently has no windows. I guess it's quarantine. I mean... I've also got nothing in it. Uh, mm, that's sad. Okay, well, maybe it won't be raised. Maybe we'll put it back on the ground. I think that might have been... I think that might have been our first mistake was raising it up. So let's move that down. <laughs> Uh, back to ground height. I think that's on the ground. I don't know. Sure. Wow. What a what an inspiring building this is. Ugh. Gross. Okay. Let's get a roof on this guy. Uh. No. Let's do the metal. No. What are the, metal plank. No. What other roofs do we have? Do we have any other roofs besides that? What about the corrugated plastic roof? Ooh. <laughs> Asphalt roof. How about that? Let's do that. That's nice. No, I mean, no, but you know you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, so with all of these selected, we can actually go up here and change the color in one go. Because I was thinking maybe like a nice sort of, well, nice sort of like cream kind of color like that. It's all right. The thing is, it's got no windows. Um, so maybe we should just add some fake windows. So it's kind of sad. Uh, let's go position and rotation snap. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's all right. What about something like this? I don't like the blue, though. That's kind of... Yeah, there we go. That's better. Uh, we'll get one at the front. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to bother with any on that side. I mean, these are just decorative anyway. Uh, so then what I want to do is I actually just want to move them up a little because they look kind of low on that side. So we'll do that. That's looking good. Yeah, nice. Now let's also get some columns on this guy because it is looking quite sad. Uh, brick ones. we got these wooden pole ones. I kind of just need ones that match this building. Maybe like this would be fine if we just take them down. Get them to sort of go in there somewhere. And then take it. I might get a second one. Just, you know, decoration purposes. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Can I just select both of these as well? And then, uh, what is it? Duplicate. Duplicate an advanced move. Yeah, so we do that one. Then we can just slide them across. Rather than having to try and copy that too difficultly. Oh, beautiful. This is what I call a quarantine center. All right, then maybe on the side of here. Don't. Snap rotation. Okay, also don't do position snap because that looks terrible. On the side, we can do these. I don't know, it just looks really boring at the moment. So maybe we can get these in on the corners. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. 
Actually, let's um select both of these. Obviously, they kind of stick out. I think we can get some trims, maybe, on the roof so it's not so flush with the building, but we'll sort that out in a second. So we're going to bring these around to the back. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're doing quarantine building video. Welcome back, guys. Uh, as for side trim, because you can do all these like smaller like ones that come off the front, like those kind of trims. I don't know that we have any roof trims. Is it in this category? It's got like the top bits. Got yeah, it's got like the top sections that you could put on. That's yeah, really for a different roof, but nothing that kind of sticks out of the edge. Maybe we can um, if I duplicate. Can I make the grid smaller and just sort of slide it off the edge a little bit? Oh, is that as small as it can go? Because that's way too far. They seem too small and also too hard to place. I can't be bothered. Uh, okay, so as for roof trims, um, oh, air conditioning. Yeah, we definitely need air conditioning. All right, so let's do rotation snap two, please. And then also take off position snap. And then also let's just do a line to surface. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's put this, get a little air conditioning unit. Uh, should we put it like on the window? Oh yeah, let's do it like on the window. You know how they always have them like mounted to windows? Let's do that. Oh, <laughs> except usually when they do that, you know, it's actually like on the window, not floating in front of it. Uh, what else do we have? Corrugated sheets. Oh, what else? Exterior switch. Oh yeah, let's get like a little plug down here. No reason for it. Exterior outlet. Oh. <laughs> Wait, if that's a switch and that, I, thought it, I thought it meant outlet. Yeah, outlets, yeah. Wall panel. Actually, wall panel is going to be useful. I should, I should remember these are here because we could definitely build walls out of these. All right. Uh, I guess that's what it means by wall panel. Oh, here we go. Let's use these. Hang on. So if we use this, put that there, and then press X, rotate. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Oh, hang on. I'm No, no. I'm undoing other stuff. Okay, let's put all that back. Okay. Snap. Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Go away. <laughs> let's do this again. Okay. Now we got uh, rotation snap on. So we go here. And then. Oh. What? Oh, hang on. I'll do it again. I thought this was supposed to happen. Oh, I had to press space bar. Okay. All right, let's do that again. Third time's the charm. Here we go. Mm hmm. And yeah. Is that 15 degrees? It's not. Why is this roof not 15 degrees? What's the point of snapping? Okay, well, let's take off snapping then because. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll snap it to 15 degrees. It'll be perfect. It wasn't. Uh, okay. So we're just going to adjust. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be better ways to do this kind of stuff. I don't know. This is how we did it back in the Planet Coaster days, and that's how I'm going to do it now. I mean, it's slightly off, but sure. And so Control X will do that, and then rotate it that. Oh, hang on. Now I'm going to slide it like this. This is not ideal. And put it there, and then the angle was not right anyway because I did snapping and I shouldn't have. Great, and then that goes to there, and then that slides down to here, and then it doesn't join in the middle. So then what we got to do is oh, hang on, no, no, put that one back. Uh, I got to accept that one, <laughs> and then hang on, cancel that placement. Got to get a bigger block in the middle. I mean, I. Sure, let's do that. And then maybe if we just slide it up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Was this really worth it? I don't know. Does it look better than it did before? Yeah, I think so. Uh, hang on, no, exit out of that. I want to duplicate. So we select the, oh, hang on, select these. Oh, no, why can't I select? How did I select all of them before? Oh, I'm not in the edit building at the moment. Okay, okay, can, okay now I can't select anything. Oh, there we go. Hang on, no, I can't select these. What's happening? Wait, are these not in the building? Oh. Nah, you know what? I'm not doing these. It's too hard. They weren't even on the building. They're separate. <laughs> okay, there's my building. Great. Okay, so now that that's done, uh, <laughs> well, done. Let's get a staff pathway. And that will just join up to here. Sure, and then foliage is what we're going to do here. Uh, I mean, we could definitely get something in here. Maybe like little exhibits. We could even do some more shops. We probably should get some more shops around the place. I might even, can I just duplicate this? Does it come with the shops? It does, good. Because I was going to put this over here. So let's do, I mean, it's pretty close to the other one, but it's also kind of not at the same time. So I'm fine with that. Mm, middle or side or like on the corner or maybe even like this. No, it can't fit that, never mind. Uh, let's just go try and line it up with the pathway. We're going to put it in the middle, like here-ish. 
Yeah, that's all right. Okay, so I'll go there. Uh, but we should actually get another bathroom block too. Uh, duplicate. Maybe that can fit in. Can that fit in here? Or have I... Oh, actually, it might be able to. Really ugly buildings, though. Oh. Well, it can't really fit here, actually, as it turns out. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it actually does kind of line up with stuff. It's a little... I mean, it's a little weird, but whatever. Okay, so that goes there. That's good. Let's unpause that. So we should have... Do we have people working here, or do we not? I assumed it would hire people for that. Uh, okay, well, let's hire some people, I guess. Um, so zoo, so, well, actually there's check. Vendors, yeah, we only have two vendors, so we definitely need someone here and here. Will they automatically just go in here? Oh yeah, I think they just take whatever's available. Cool. All right, so that's going there. We've got a quarantine center. I'm wondering if maybe we should get another vet. How many vets do we have? We have one. I might actually get a second vet. That might be a good idea. Might just generally be a good idea. All right, so we got the... Is this the other flamingo? This is probably the other flamingo, I guess. Let's check this one. Is, is this one okay? I think this one's okay. Obviously, apart from enrichment and all that. Uh, hard shelter. It's apparently 50%. Oh, because this is now in the enclosure. Oh, whoops. Well, I guess that's actually fine. I don't mind that. Um, okay, so hard shelter. That counts as 50%. That's pretty good. Uh, coverage is fine. Enrichment is terrible. So, well, let's get some more hard shelter. Can we do... Uh, so, actually, what kind of stuff do you like? Well, I'm going to get a rock. I don't know. I kind of just use rocks for hard shelter these days. That's kind of like my thing. I mean, what, what does a flamingo need hard shelter for? Okay, they don't add to the building, please. There you go. How's that? <laughs> it's almost, It's actually almost the amount it needs. <laughs> okay, stop aligning the surface, please. Diseased animal discovered. Okay, hang on. Another one? Uh-oh. Wait, you're also diseased? How did you get diseased? Uh, okay. Well, it did say vet called, so maybe okay. They, I guess they're both diseased, or is it because they both went in here? Hmm. That could be an issue. How's this guy going? My other animals are okay. So we have a vet coming to this guy, right? I'll call another vet, because I'm a little worried about that now. Alright, anyway, so while those animals are being taken care of, hopefully we're good and it's actually not a problem. But I guess we'll see. Uh, so, uh, red panda. Oh, red panda's about to have offspring. Oh, yeah. We're going to have baby red pandas. Have them. Oh, wait. Sit down. Oh, is this baby time? Is that how you give birth? Probably not, because that doesn't make sense. <laughs> give birth, give birth, give birth, give birth. Oh, baby panda. Oh, baby red panda. Oh, yay! Oh, we got a baby red panda. You guys better like this. Oh, yeah! Dude, we're the best. We're the best zoo ever, except for the flamingos. That one's going up there. Oh, so happy too. Sweet. Oh, is there a flamingo in here? Hello. <laughs> okay, so I guess this one's now fine. Uh, at least it doesn't seem like it. Wait, it has zero hard shelter. I thought it had 50%. How is that now zero? Or is it because it's too far away? What are you doing? Don't... Uh, this is this almost seems like a tease. <laughs> Have a wire fence there. You know, I'm going to change that barrier. I'm not happy with that. Grade three. What is this one? The chain link is actually only grade two. So I think if we just change this anyway, it would be better for everyone involved. Okay, there we go. Um, are you okay, dude? What are you doing? I don't even... I mean, I guess that makes sense that they can go in water, but also, what are you doing? H how do you not have any hard shelter? Maybe it needs to be more in the middle. Let me just pause. Uh, let's go habitat. Well, I mean, what can I build hard shelter out of? Because I kind of want it to look better and more like it actually suits the animal. I don't want just like that. Uh, let's go back to nature. I do like the rocks, but it always looks kind of weird just having a flat rock built up in the middle. I can try to make it look a bit better, I guess. Uh, so let's go like this. I'm gonna go over here. So we'll get two of them. Because I mean, like... How does that rotation button not even work anymore? It worked once, anyway. Alright, so that's gonna go there. Then maybe I can get... Like a rock around the back. See, I just don't want to block the view of the guests, you know? Because the guests are really about everything here. 
you know, here at the zoo, we're all about the guests. And if they, if they get, oh, oh, I always forget that you can't undo the advanced move stuff. It's really weird. So we do this. Actually, you know what? How about I do this? I go here, control X. So we just move that one out. Yeah, here we go. This is better. 45. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hang on. Can I rotate? No. Uh, toggle translate to rotate. No. Uh, toggle relative world axis. No, that's not useful. Surface move. Mm, okay, well, I guess we're gonna do this. <laughs> I guess we'll do this. That's fine. There you go. Look. Lovely. And then we do the same on this side. And we go like that. And we go like this, and we go like that, and we go like this. <laughs> there you go. You happy with your hard shelter now? Does that count? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean, it's really dumb. Uh, okay, let's get some. Maybe we can get some nature in here to make it look better. So, what do you like? You like aquatic, tropical, temperate? Okay, so let's go. Uh, biome, tropical. Temperate and savanna. Is that savanna or grassland? Grassland, sorry. There's no savanna anyway. Um, okay, and then we're gonna go in here. Oh, and then Asia. Oh, it's pretty much everywhere. Asia. What is it? Europe. Africa. Oh, how's this animal? Let me just check. Is this all good now? Looks good. No injuries. Many guests. I think tickets underpriced. So that's a good thing. Enrichment is not great. That's fine. We're sort of working towards that anyway. We're going to have to adjust the um, coverage and all that in a second because I think it's going to get a little bit messy as I start doing all this. But I just want this to like not look like a floating freaking rock. Which, I mean, which it clearly is, but ideally if we can make it look a bit better. Yeah, no coverage is no good right now. Let me get rid of this tree. Oh, I like that tree though. Let me get rid of this tree. How's that? Oh, too much coverage. Damn it. Damn you animals. How about now? Is that... Wait, how is that now too much? I removed... We have one less tree than we did before. Stupid flamingo. What do you know about coverage? <laughs> uh, I hate these rocks. I hate them with a passion. I mean, I guess I can just add more rocks, but then... Okay, I think I'm pretty. I think I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, there's some trees and bushes. We removed the larger one over there just so we can get some more around this stupid hard shelter, which is so dumb. Hey, can we get some food in here, please? Uh, this is definitely in a work zone. Okay, yeah, there's a keeper right there anyway. All right, so that's good. Now let's get some enrichment. Uh, also, actually, we did get some more research from our vet, which is good. We got some stuff for the red pandas. Sweet. We should probably also get some stuff for the flamingo. So I'm gonna get the other vet on that. Uh, actually, I don't know if we need a second vet clinic. We might need another space for them to do that. Also, let's actually get some donation bins because we haven't even done that yet. Look, things are getting out of hand. We need some We need some stuff ASAP. So let's get not regular bins. I need donation bins. Uh, guest facilities. Here we go. So there's a lot of people right here in the front. So I'm going to get one there. Also seems to be a bunch of people over here. And also over here. It's kind of annoying because it's right by the freaking gate, but whatever. Is that too many donation bins? Do they get upset if there's too many? I don't know how that works. So maybe? Mm, don't know. Transport rides. Oh, yeah. Right, let's get some uh, education boards and all that as well. Uh, so this one can go right in the front. Uh, should it be like right here? Or is that kind of like no good? Maybe we'll do one over here. So be one here for them. And then, oh. Wait, where did that go? <laughs> Hang on, was that like super far underground? I thought it was like here at like that height, but it seems like it completely disappeared. <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna be great. A flamingo. Fantastic. And then that's, I mean, that's all we'll do. And then we'll do like a speaker over this side, I think. So let's go construction. We're gonna get out a, uh, what do we want? Wall decoration, walls. Uh, I want, where do I, where did I find columns and all that? Uh, was that not, I thought it was in here somewhere. Uh, oh, it's in the wall category. All right. Uh, well, actually, is there like a lights? Is there like a post? Oh, centerpieces. We need to research those. Uh, I just want like a pole a sign. Oh, I guess sign. Standing signs. Wall signs. Oh, no. I just want like the post though. 
like a stick, which I guess is just architecture. Fine, I'll just use this. Uh, so I'm gonna put this up here. It's gonna come out of the, oh, is it trying to place on top of the hedge? I'm trying to place it in the hedge, like so it's just in here. Yeah. And then we're gonna slide it down because I feel like it doesn't need to be that high. Then we're gonna put a speaker in that. That is the plan. It's gonna be beautiful. Wait, what is this? Education, ambience. Oh, ambience speaker. But yeah, we're gonna speaker on top of this. Just gonna go about there. Oh, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> that looks so stupid. No, it's supposed to sit on top of it. Yeah. Nope, I undid it. So sit there and I accept it. And then I set it to greater flamingos and we got some sweet education. Mm, that's good stuff. Yeah, how are we looking guys? Are we all good? People must be loving this now. Give me that money. 75 bucks already. Sweet. Zero over there. How about in this one? Anyone? Zero. Okay, that one seems to be pretty good. All right, so we've got a couple of flamingos sitting out the front now, which is really, really nice. The barrier status is already 60%, not 50. You know what? Let's get another mechanic. And I think we should... There's a few things we need to do, really. I think what I need to do is find out how to get to staff, get a mechanic. And then I also want to... We need to build more facilities uh, for staff. That quarantine is just over there. I, I did want to decorate around that. I think we needed to... Oh, that's the other thing we need to do. We need um, bins and benches and tables and all that kind of stuff. So let's go uh, recycle bin, recycle bin, regular bin. I'm just going to do them next to each other like that. And we're going to get some benches and stuff. We'll get benches like on this side because, I mean, currently there's nothing here. We'll probably build something there eventually. And there's nothing around that way either. So I'm not going to bother doing benches. Uh, these ones can sit, sit facing out. Uh, maybe we'll get some here in the middle. Like this for now. And then we'll get some bins and stuff around here too. Uh, but for now I'm just gonna do this. So at least I have somewhere to sit down here in the middle. Oh yeah, it's coming together now. Uh, where else do we have rubbish? Probably, mm, not really seeing any at the moment, it's okay. Let's not do a regular bin right next to a tr like a, <laughs> a donation bin. Cause, oh, there's a bunch of trash through here. That barrier is looking pretty bad, actually. Let's get a mechanic over there. <laughs> let's get the recycles all next to these as well. There you go. Oh, yeah, look at them chucking out trash. So good. Good job, guys. Uh, that's all good. So there's a bunch of trash through here. That's all looking pretty nice and clean. I can't tell if there's trash here, but we do have bins here. We don't have any of the uh, recycle, though. And I know these ones are off pathway and the other ones are on, but for now, that's fine. Okay, so that should hopefully keep it a little bit cleaner. Uh, they got some more places to sit down now. Guests should be happy. Everyone was saying our ticket was actually too cheap as well. Azu has no security guards. Yeah, we're fine. Who cares about that? Uh, I guess I think the tickets are underpriced. Oh no, the Timberwolf is about to mature. No! Actually, speaking of which, should we... Hang on, what, what is our Timberwolf population at this point in time? Because that, I feel like, has changed a lot. Timberwolf 1 alert. What's the alert? Hello? What, what alert? You're just saying one. One what? What does that mean? Yeah. He says four animals, but what? what's your problem? Oh, there's a scroll. Okay. But feeders, habit of contents. But what's the problem? <laughs> Don't give me an alert and then not tell me what it is. Is it? Is it just the one saying it was about to mature? Ember? So this is that adult. And then this is... Vyanka. That's Emb. But where's Ember? Hello? It might be around the back. Oh man. How am I There's only four in here, right? Hang on. <laughs> Can't find it. Uh, okay. One alert. Great. I like how it gives you an alert, but it doesn't even tell you which one it is. This one. Wait, it has low welfare? Wait, when did it have low welfare? I thought it said it was about to mature. Hang on, I'm trying to click on this. Wait, let me click on it. <laughs> I can't. Hello? Oh, there we go. Welfare, habitat 3%, temperature. Oh, okay. It's probably because there's no temperature around the back. Well, why did it go around the back? Yeah, there's no, it doesn't have the temperature around the back. All right, well, we figured out the problem. Um, It's gone into the boiling hot section of the... <laughs> The habitat for some reason. I was like so confused for a second. All right, fine. Let me get one. Uh, let's go align to service. I'm going to get one on the barrier there and one over here because it seems like this stupid thing is dumb. Uh, now, how 
what well, not how what temperature do we have these set on we had it set on well we went down to nine that's pretty good that's pretty nice of us damn nine degrees all right uh let's go down to nine degrees there and then on this one as well nine degrees okay so let's unpause that so ember i thought it, i thought it said it was about to like i thought it meant mature as and become like an elder but no it's about to grow up and become an adult so it's running out of that area and it should actually be fine now anyways as it comes out of there it comes into the cooler area too which is good yeah there you go it's getting better let's have a look this area is still a little warm right here uh but it seems okay now okay yeah that that's better so now it's not burning to death all right cool Spectre arriving in eight months. Uh, no security guard, that's fine. DD, it's apparently visiting. Hi. Oh, yeah! Sweet, claim rewards. Uh, great. Okay, so... A lot of trash over here still. Maybe we need to get another janitor. Oh, look at this baby red panda. There's also no food in here. What's the deal with the food? Can we get some more food, please? Social. Stress. Oh, yeah, they don't like... Um, they like privacy. Uh, we should probably research the barriers that allow us to give them more privacy. So maybe we should set someone on that. Yeah, they, they are not happy with being on display. But if he, if he walks further away, it should be okay. Like, that one's fine. I think it's just because he's, like, right in the middle. Let's have a look. Uh, if, you come, if you get further away... Uh, oh, they're fighting for alpha status? Did the, did the baby just grow up and start fighting for alpha status? What's happening? Or not? Wait. Injured. Vianca, the Timberwolf. Uh, can we get a vet over here, please? <laughs> well, that's what you get when you fight for alphas. What stupid tree? <laughs> this giant tree on the ground. I can't click on that. There we go. You're three and a half. Well, three and a half. Three point eight. Three point eight. Did the other adult? Oh no, you are the adult. Oh, you're also injured. Okay, let's just get a vet for you. Yeah. Hopefully, are they going to get both of them, or at least pick up one of them right now? Hmm. Let me just check on the animals. How are you guys doing? Oh. Okay, so you got that one. You ignore that one. That's fine, I guess. Serious injury. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Habitat one. Yeah. Well, it's not fine, but you know what I mean. Like, we, we, we're on top of it. Okay. So, these guys are doing good. Oh! And you guys said we wouldn't get baby Komodo dragons. Uh, got him. Yeah, baby Komodos. Oh, that was bought ages ago too, I didn't even notice. Yeah, that's a problem. I, I tend to not see when we're having babies. But uh, we got two little baby ones now. Aww. Isn't that cute? It's like a little baby Komodo. Yay! They love it. Dude, this zoo is actually doing so well. Oh, let's see if we can get another croc. Because that's actually what I do want to do. Real quick, is just have a look. Can we get another salt water crocodile? Because that'd be amazing. Uh, saltwater crocodile. Female. Isn't it? Do we already have a female? We need a male. Yeah, they only ever have females, damn it. Alright, well, we're gonna have to keep trying for that. Um, Alright, I think that's pretty good. The zoo is actually coming along really, really nicely. I think next episode, I want to try and build some more staff facilities. Maybe build a bigger section here for some stuff. Uh, so we can get the more members in more. More like staff members to do more research. Because I think now that we have more money, we seem to be doing really well with money. Like that doesn't seem to be an issue at all. So I think next time we'll get in some more staff members to do research. Get some more stuff going. Uh, I will also just do like a little build or something just for a staff area. Kind of like we did here. We'll just do another one of those. But with more facilities for research and, and all that kind of stuff. But look at this. It is actually looking like a zoo now. Like it's not just two habitats we have what like five of them at the moment and i think it's quite nice got a nice little section there i do want to add uh some exhibit animals so like the smaller ones probably around the front somewhere too but until then let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next what animals you want to see i do still want to get that second croc so we can get that going but until then thanks for watching guys i will see you next time and have an awesome day